Hello today's video we have the following content. Zhang Han's disappearance may be a good thing. In the past few days, the TV series Gentlemen of East District 8 starring Zhang Han, Wang Xiaoqin, Du Chun, Jing Zhao, Wang Yomin and others was broadcast in South Korea, which caused a lot of discussion. As for the evaluation of Korean websites, the audience's aesthetics are almost the same. They are all disgusted, criticizing and complaining about this drama, and they feel sorry for the actresses. For example, the rating of this drama is only 2.1 points, which is the lowest among domestic dramas this year. It was scolded when it was just broadcast because everyone boycotted it. After the finale of this drama was broadcast, it was quickly removed from the shelves. There are too many problems with this drama, such as confusing logic and distorted values. What is particularly excessive is that the male protagonist is so greasy and hot to the eyes, and he does not respect women, such as taking advantage of the female protagonist by touching her and pulling her underwear belt. The lines are simply unbearable to watch, such as thin people look good, fat people are good, and these kinds of dirty jokes come out casually. Whether it is the plot, character setting, or lines and acting, every aspect is fender and poor. You know, Zhang Han is the screenwriter and producer of Gentlemen of East District 8. This is the result of his 10 years of careful polishing. I didn't expect it to be so bad. For this drama, Zhang Han has been closely watching the editing in the machine room, and he insisted that a snowflake fall on the eyelashes, not on the shoulders. It seems that he pays attention to details, but it is useless. He just avoids the important issues. Even the official media can't stand it. They severely criticized East District 8 and asked Zhang Han where the sincerity of spending 10 years polishing is. This drama is not only greasy and floating, but also objectifies women. It is old-fashioned and has no connotation. No wonder the audience is picky. After being ridiculed by everyone, except for a birthday dynamic that popped up automatically in October, Zhang Han's account has not been updated since September, and there has been no movement for almost three months now. To be honest, Zhang Han's disappearance is actually a good thing in some ways. The drama he carefully made has many problems. He is satisfied with it, but it has pitted the audience. The removal of this drama and its disappearance from being updated show that the opinions of the masses are valid and bad TV drama should be abandoned. Having said that, The Gentleman of East District 8 is not an isolated case. There are some other bad dramas that are broadcasted just to upset the audience. Just like My Name is Liu Jinfeng broadcasted this year, the costumes and props of this drama are too Japanese style. Using Japanese style instead of Chinese style is obviously a cultural invasion. In this drama, everyone wears kimonos and the queen eats sushi. It is simply ridiculous. How can it look like ancient China? It feels like it was filmed by the Japanese. Although this is a costume drama, the bottom line and principles must be upheld. The long-standing and profound Chinese culture should be promoted, and this drama is not only eye-catching, but also an insult to ancient culture. After the broadcast of this drama, there was a lot of noise, and finally the official media paid attention to it, emphasizing that costume dramas cannot follow the trend of foreign styles and styles, and the art of costume dramas must truly restore the style of relevant history. It was taken off the shelves, which was really refreshing. The audience is not stupid and can distinguish right from wrong. In terms of major values, especially national issues, they must not be shaken. To give another example, Thunder Warrior, which was criticized by the whole network, was taken off the shelves because it provoked national issues. Under the name of a TV series about the anti-Japanese war, it also took advantage of the popularity of Bright Sword and claimed to be a youth version of the anti-Japanese war drama. As a result, Thunder Warrior was filmed in the tone of an idol drama. The male protagonist was always showing off, and the war seemed to highlight the male protagonist's love of pretending. What is even more unacceptable is that the revolutionary army in this drama lived in a villa, sprayed hairspray on their hair, drank coffee, and ate western food. During the war, everyone's clothes were very clean, not dirty at all. Girls actually wore high heels on the battlefield. This is not a war, it is clearly to enjoy themselves. The history is distorted too seriously. Not only does it make the audience feel disgusted, but it is also an insult to the revolutionary martyrs. It deserves to be taken off the shelves. In response to this, the official media commented that the idle drama set of rules is not suitable for anti-Japanese dramas. This is really to the point. Such dramas that do not respect history and only know how to talk about love are not accepted by the audience at all, and they will definitely not be popular. Faced with the overwhelming criticism, 
The director of Thunder Warrior issued a long article in response and took some old photos to prove that the drama can stand the test of history. However, his explanation is not convincing, and netizens do not agree at all. The sad thing is that the director did not realize his own problems and felt wronged, thinking that the audience was too picky and wronged himself. To be honest, the audience is indeed very picky, but the audience has to be picky. Only in this way can the entire film and television industry become better. Otherwise, some capitalists only want to make money and shoot some bad dramas to disgust the audience. The audience is not a rag collector, why should they accept these bad dramas? Besides, like Thunder Warrior and Gentlemen of East District 8, it is obvious that the drama itself has problems, so don't put the responsibility on the audience. The three views are not right, and they don't stick to the bottom line of principles. It's their own fault that they were taken off the shelves. The audience is the one who watches the drama. Isn't it right to have a long-term vision when choosing a drama? For example, the audience is like a customer, the TV series is like a commodity, and the producers, directors and other related personnel of the TV series are merchants. The audience has questions about the TV series, isn't it the same as when a buyer finds that the product is different from the real thing when buying something and raises objections? The merchant first sells dog meat under the guise of sheep, and the customer is not allowed to refute. Moreover, the audience has brains and is not deliberately picking faults. Bad dramas will be complained, and good dramas will also be praised. Good dramas like Nirvana and Fire and Drawing Sword will be liked and recognized by everyone if they are well made, and can get high scores. So, those directors, screenwriters, etc. who make bad dramas, wake up, don't blame the audience every time you are criticized, you should look for problems from yourself. Let's talk about Zhang Han. The audience criticized him, that's indeed he didn't do well, the drama is bad, there is no way to defend it. But this is not to deliberately make things difficult for him. On the contrary, he is more disappointed. He has been in the industry for a long time and has acted in many works. He has accumulated some popularity and reputation. His performance in Wolf Warrior 2 was quite outstanding. He should have experience, but this drama made him return to his original form. I have to say that when Gentlemen of East District 8 was about to be broadcast, Zhang Han was interviewed. He said that he went all out to make this drama. He felt that there were not many problems, but he encountered some difficulties when looking for investors. The implication seems to be that the investors have no vision. In addition, he also said that this drama is very meaningful in this industry. In other words, Zhang Han's goal was achieved, which is indeed very meaningful. The removal of the work is a good thing for the entire industry. It can correct mistakes, warn others, and make an example of others. I believe that with the influence of these removed dramas, the entire film and television industry can be more standardized, screenwriters and directors can be more attentive, and more good films can be made and more bad films can be eliminated. In short, only works that respect history, respect the audience, have good values, stick to principles, and have the right direction will be accepted by the audience. Otherwise, if they are criticized or removed from the shelves, they will only hurt themselves. Finally, I really hope there will not be another gentleman of East 8th District. Next news. Zhang Han's styling is a big overturn. Zhu Zudan's strength has won fans. The mystery behind the new drama's popularity. Zhang Han's new drama Liu Guangyun has caused a sensation on the internet as soon as it was aired. The topic reading volume of Zhang Han's ancient costume styling on the hot search list directly exceeded 1 billion. However, this popularity is not all good. Let's take a look at what is going on. 1. Zhang Han's stunning styling, accidental or deliberate. To be honest, when I first saw Zhang Han styling in Liu Guangyin, I almost thought I was watching the wrong channel. The hairstyle that is close to the scalp, coupled with thick black eyebrows, is like an archaeological discovery from a dynasty. Some netizens complained, is this Zhang Han or Zhang Han Dong? It feels like he is cosplaying a historical celebrity. But on second thought, could this be a marketing strategy of the crew? After all, in this era where traffic is king, sometimes reverse out of the circle is also a skill. 2. Zhu Zudin, this heroine is something. After talking about Zhang Han, let's talk about the heroine Zhu Zudin. I have to say, this girl is really awesome. In the play, Zhu Zudin plays a modern mercenary who traveled through time. Those fighting scenes are so cool. Especially the night chase scene in the third episode. I was so excited that I almost wanted to rush out to practice a few moves. Some netizens commented, Zhu Zudin is really cool this time. Watching her fight is even more exciting than watching Zhang Han fall in love. 
However, some people think that Zuzudan's performance is a bit too much. After all, in ancient times, if a woman behaves too fiercely, it will inevitably cause controversy. But then again, isn't this the charm of time travel dramas? 3. Plot, new version of the old trick or innovative breakthrough? Okay, let's talk about the content of this drama after talking about the actors. The plot setting of Liu Guangyin is actually quite interesting. A modern mercenary travels to ancient times and meets a Cold War god. Isn't this the ancient version of the domineering president falling in love with me? However, it depends on how you put old wine in a new bottle. It is said that the screenwriter of this drama is a well-known god-level figure in the industry. The scene in the fifth episode where the heroine outsmarted the treacherous ministers was simply a stroke of genius. I was so addicted to it. However, some viewers said that the plot was a bit dragged out. One netizen complained, it's already the eighth episode, and the hero and heroine haven't officially been together. Is this going to be dragged until the finale? 4. Production Team, Real Power or a Show Off? Speaking of this, we have to mention the production team of this drama. It is said that in order to restore the ancient scenes, the crew rebuilt an ancient city covering hundreds of acres in Hangdian, with an investment of up to 500 million yuan. It took more than half a year to make the costumes and props alone. However, does high investment guarantee high quality? An industry insider revealed, the special effects team of this drama is indeed very strong, but they seem to be a little impatient in polishing the script. I hope that the subsequent plot can be more solid. But then again, it is rare for a crew to be willing to work so hard on details in this fast-paced era. 5. Ratings, really good or cold? Finally, let's take a look at the most critical ratings issue. According to the latest data, the online broadcast volume of Liu Guangyun has exceeded 2.5 billion, ranking first among the costume dramas of the same period. However, high online popularity does not mean good offline reputation. A survey shows that although many people are following this drama, only about 65% of them really give good reviews. Among them, many people said that they came for complaints. A senior media person analyzed, the current popularity of Liu Guangyun is more driven by topics. Whether it can really become an annual hit depends on the subsequent plot development and word of mouth accumulation. Conclusion, will you follow this drama? Well, after such an analysis, what do you think of the drama Liu Guangyun? Are you complaining about Zhang Han's shocking look? Or are you attracted by Zhu Zudin's heroic appearance? Or do you simply want to see whether this high investment costume drama can create miracles? In any case, Liu Guangyun has indeed brought a breath of fresh air to the screen this summer. As for whether it can really become the dark horse of the year, let's wait and see. Finally, I want to say that no matter how the drama is evaluated in the end, it at least proves one thing, in the entertainment industry. Sometimes accidentally becoming popular can bring unexpected results. Maybe this is the charm of the entertainment industry. Thank you for watching the video, please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel,